Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. This is the Valder BB Show, broadcasting live from Dallas, Texas. Who do I have in the studio with me? Hi, my name's Claire Roberts. Claire Roberts, well, thank you so very much for joining us on this lovely day. Thank you for having me. Well, what we'd like to know is what you know and you want my audience to know. Well, I'm here to talk about head lice, and that's not normally a topic and a discussion uh, for around the kitchen table. But uh, I'm extremely happy to be here to talk to your audience uh, about the fact that if you find out that your children or you have head lice, we've got a great solution for you, and we've got a network of urgent care centers to take care of you. Okay. Head lice, I thought that was something that we kind of got out of control when I was in school, which was a long time ago. <laughs> we're still talking about head lice? We're still talking about it, and in fact, we're talking about a new strain of head lice now, super lice. So if you, if you thought regular head lice were a problem, we now have super lice. And these are lice that have uh, mutated over the years, and you just can't kill them any longer with the very over-the-counter lice shampoos with pesticides in them. Uh, they've become resistant. That, that's kind of scary, Claire. <laughs> it is. It is scary. It's scary for parents, for sure. And aren't they, uh, can't you catch them or, or transfer them when you have head lice? Because I remember, and I'm so serious, when I was in school, if you had head lice, you had to go home and stay <laughs> home until your parents fixed you up. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, some things have changed. Not all schools require you to, to go home, but uh, it is something that parents should take care of right away. And even though lice are still a huge problem. I mean, 12 million cases a year in school-aged children in the U.S. One in 20 school-aged children have head lice at any one time. And they're transferred from head-to-head -head contact, occasionally from sharing hairbrushes and hats and taking selfies. So uh, it, not a lot you can do about uh, uh, not contracting it, but you, something you can do very easily to take care of it uh, with, our, uh, with our urgent care centers. Okay, what do, what do we need to look for? Because you know, Claire, there's a revolution going on, and one of it is met personal responsibility, and we have to know so much in our medical lives. So when we take our children to urgent care, what should we be looking for, and what should we know to ask? Well, uh, here's something you may not know, is that we have a, a network of urgent care centers that are dedicated strictly to taking care of head lice. I would... Uh, suggest that you go to a, a, a dedicated Lice Clinics of America clinic, not your f pediatrician or an urgent care center where they don't specialize in it. So go to someone who specializes in it. And um, our process, we use an FDA cleared medical device. So it's safe and it works. So do your parents should do their research, uh, make sure you're using something that's safe and that will really work. Our clinics offer a guarantee and the whole process only takes about an hour. Let me ask you this, even before we get to taking them to urgent care and we determine that they have life and we've got multiple children, how do we keep the other ones from getting it? Well, you need to get everyone treated at the same time uh, and then you need to have, be vigilant in detection. So once a week, if you have school-aged children, we recommend that you check to see if they have uh, any kind of recurrence and you treat again as quickly as possible. Why are we kind of sounding the alarm for this? Because we, we haven't talk about, uh, talked about this in public for a long time. The alarm really has been sounded based, uh, because uh, 
research was published uh, uh, recently uh, confirming what many parents had suspected, and that is that there are super lice, lice that are just very hard to kill, very resistant to over-the-counter shampoos. And so there was a, even though you may have thought the problem was gone, it actually was becoming worse. So parents were spending hundreds of dollars, weeks if not months, trying to battle the problem, and these lice are resistant to these over-the-counter shampoos. Claire, I understand you're the CEO of Lice Clinics of America? Correct. That's correct. That, 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 that's awesome to me. There's a clinic just to deal with this. But, you know, med medicine has made such advances. Are there any medical advances within people getting their children treated for this problem? Yeah, absolutely. And, that, and that's what we've done. We, so we developed a, a, a proprietary medical device. It's FDA cleared. Uh, it's called Aralay. Uh, and we use this device uh, in our clinics and we dehydrate lice and eggs very quickly uh, so it's safe and it doesn't use uh, those very pesticides that lice have become resistant to. Claire, this is fascinating. I could talk to you all day, but you can be my medical expert of today. Where would you send my audience on the web to find out more information? Yeah, absolutely. LiceClinicsOfAmerica.com has all the information, and you can search to find uh, one of our clinics uh, near you. Well, Claire, I want to let you know that Claire Roberts has a very, very exciting and fascinating job, and thanks for being my guest on the Velder BB Show. Thank you.